Thank you, Adam. Now time for Richard Southern, who's joining us now. Uh, Richard, police are out with another reminder about when and when not to dial 911. Yeah, it turns out, Mark, and this is hard to believe, but uh, the OPP say they have been inundated with 911 calls, not about masked robbers or you know, bank thieves, but about raccoons. People are calling 911 about raccoons on their property. And this, of course, ties up the line for actual emergencies. Uh, police say a lot of the calls are coming in uh, in the daytime, and they point out it's not uncommon for raccoons to be out during the daylight, but, of course, officers aren't equipped to deal with it. So if it's not Amber Alerts, it's raccoons. Stop calling 911 for this. You know, Mark, they say Toronto might actually be the, the raccoon capital not only of Canada but of, of the world. It seems everyone has had a run-in with a raccoon. Have you? Almost definitely, uh, to the point where, you know, they get into people's houses. I've seen an altered Blue Jays logo with a raccoon put instead uh, being sold on the streets as well. So, you know, everybody I, either I heard they even know they them. know the, the garbage. Absolutely. They know the garbage pickup schedule in Toronto, some of them. They are that <laughs> smart, Mark. Raccoons. Don't underestimate them. Uh, there you go. Well, uh, let's talk about a certain rap artist, well known for his love of marijuana, now getting into the lullaby business. This is true. You'll soon be able to lull your child to sleep with a little Snoop Dogg. Yes, Snoop is releasing a lullaby CD for babies, featuring versions of his biggest hip-hop hits. The new album, Mark, will include uh, soothing instrumental renditions of Snoop's classics, including Drop It Like It's Hot, Gin and Juice, and Sensual Seduction. The album will be uh, entitled Lullaby Renditions of Snoop Dogg. And you know what I say, Mark, it's never too early to instill a little West Coast tunes into your child. Just keep the, the cannabis, keep the cannabis out of the crib, right, Mark? So, so you're down with the old school L.A. Uh, hip hop scene, are you? I am down with the uh, D-O-double-G, Mark. You know me. Wow. Yes. Uh, well, I'm not sure about gin and juice. <laughs> Uh, drop it like it's hot is uh, very uh, is, is good advice to young toddlers. So there you go. It's, uh, it's kid friendly now, apparently. There in, you go. Indeed. Uh, turns out we don't need to pay much attention to how we're wrapping our holiday gifts this year. Good news for me, Mark. Uh, they actually did a study of this. Turns out uh, that gifts that are badly wrapped are perceived as being better by the receiver than those that are poorly wrapped. Researchers at the University of Nevada found wrapping presents too neatly uh, inflated the expectations of what's inside, while doing a sloppy job actually helped the gift go over better. Uh, researchers also found that the negative feelings around neatly wrapped gifts that did not live up to expectations uh, were uh, likely to be worse when you gave it to a, a loved one. So uh, bad news, Mark, you can't just throw a, um, a bow on a, a gift card and expect it to go over well. But this is fine with me because I'm a terrible rapper. I don't know about you. I would say the same thing. I normally take pride, but uh, it's okay. Thanks for joining us, Richard. Let it slide. Thanks, Mark. Have a good one.